Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we'll break down the key difference between the service principle and managed identity in Azure. Watch as we use the service principle to securely deploy the apps via the CI CD pipeline and the managed identity to access the Azure Key Vault without storing the secrets. So by the end, you'll know exactly when to use each. Let's get started. So in this video, we'll be covering the Azure Managed Identity and Service Principle introduction, why do we need them and key difference and their benefits. So we will be seeing two live demos. The first one will be the Managed Identity in Azure Web App. So we'll be creating a key vault, storing some secrets and setting up some Azure Web App with Managed Identity. We'll also grant the required permissions so that the Web App can access the Azure Key Vault to get the secrets. So we'll be implementing it in .NET Core Web API 9 to see how securely it is fetching the secrets from the key vault. And followed by the second live demo will be the service principle for the Azure DevOps CI CD pipeline. So we will understand the service principle and their role in the DevOps. We'll be creating a service principle in Azure DevOps and then configuring the Azure DevOps pipeline to deploy the web application to the Azure. And then you will see how CI CD pipelines are running and verifying the deployment. And finally, after all of these things, we will also talk about the best practice and summary of when to use manage entity and when to use the service principle. So by the end of the video, you'll be very solid with these two concepts. So come, let's dive in. All right, so first let's understand what is identity in Azure. So in Azure, every single application or any services needs an identity to authenticate and access the resources securely. Okay, so instead of giving username and password, Azure actually provides two mechanisms called managed identity and service principle for its secure authentication. So why do we need them? We need this for two main reasons. One is to securely access the Azure resources without managing the credential. The second important thing is this improves the security so that you uh, you know, it, this improves the security by eliminating uh, the need to store any, uh, you know, credentials in your configuration file. Okay, so let's, uh, you know, talk about the difference or the, you know, details of the managed identity versus service principle. So let's take a look at the first one. Okay, F these are the features and we have these two, right? So let's, let me clarify these things. So as per the definition, it says managed identity means they are identities managed by the Azure for the application, okay? Meaning every single resource has its own identity, but they are managed by the Azure, which will talk to the applications, okay? So remember identities are managed, managed identity means they're managed by the Azure, not by us. In other hand, service principles are nothing but an identity that was created by human, like we go to portal and create uh, the identity that is used for the apps or the services to access the resources, okay? So, meaning this is managed by Azure, this is managed manually by us, like just for creating or assigning some roles. After that, everything will happen automatically. Okay, so let's take a use case. So for example, um, in this case, if uh, Azure resource needs to access another Azure resource, then we'll go with the managed identity, okay? In this case, for example, uh, DevOps, Azure DevOps, which is outside the Azure portal, right? So for Azure DevOps, CI CD pipelines or automations, okay? So for those kind of things, where the pipeline needs to access the Azure resource. For example, you wanted to build and deploy a particular code to Azure Web App, meaning CI CD pipeline needs access to the Azure Web App, which is a resource in Azure, okay? For that, we will need service principle, which is created by the, in terms of secret management, there is no secret needed. Azure manages everything. But in this principle, like service principle, there could be a client ID secret or the certificate for the authentication, which is created by us, which you're going to see shortly in the demo. Lifetime. Whenever a managed identity, like for example, whenever a resource that has its own managed identity, if the resource is gone, like deleted, 
the managed identity associated with that resource also is gone okay but in service principle you have to manually create and delete that's for our life cycle like for life cycle management now in managed identity there are two types system assigned user assigned but in this case there is only one type which is manually assigned which is done by us okay so i hope you um, are clear with this if you are not clear let me know in the comment section of what exactly you want to know uh, in detail i'll explain you in the next video now uh, it's time for the real time um, you know scenarios and demos all right so the first demo right so i have logged into portal.ashu.com under a particular resource group like kv demo rg i have a key vault created and i have a web app created all right so what we are going to do is just a quick demo we have this web application basically this has the key vault url that i just created and it has a secret name called database connection string so all what this is doing is this one is trying to have an endpoint that is trying to access the secret value for this one so for this one this is a secret value it is going to access this okay so let's get into this um, key vault and I'll quickly show you what I meant. So if you go to secret, there is a secret key and there is a value for this. Okay, so this is the uh, value. So if I say show secret value, see there's a database connection string, right? There's a database connection string here. It's a big one. So I wanted to retrieve this from the key vault. No. All right, so now what I did is this application is now deployed to whatever I just mentioned, which is here. Okay, so if I go and click on the existing API, it runs. Now let's try to, this application is now trying to run this endpoint. So we got an error because this application doesn't have access. Okay, so in this case, we don't have access. That's why you got an error. Now let's go back and try to understand. Okay, so in Azure, every single thing is called resource. So in this case, Azure keyword is the resource, and Azure Web App API is the resource, right? So now this resource is trying to access this resource, Azure resource to Azure resource, but it did not work. Now we are going to see how managed entity is going to help us. So in order to have the access for this one to like in order to give access to web app for this what we have to do first do is we need to go here to the web app and to the left side if you scroll down to the settings under that there's something called identity so there is an identity that tells who this is okay so if you go to identity Again, there'll be two things, system assigned identity, user assigned identity. Let's take a look both. Okay, so system assigned identity means uh, initially it will be off. When I say on, there'll be a name like, you know, there's a unique name or like GUID created that is assigned for this. So in Azure, if I go like this, just imagine, right? If I go to uh, Microsoft and say, hey, this is the object ID. Tell me who is this? They can find out and tell exactly that this belongs to LSE, web app, KV, demo, web app. Because this is now associated with this. That's what is called identity. It tells who this is. Now, once you enable this and switch on and save, save. Okay, this is enabled. Now, what we do is let's go back to this key vault and we are going to provide access. In order to provide access for the web app, okay, go to access control, IAM and click on add role assignment okay in this role assignment let's search for a uh, secret admin there's something called keyword secret user okay so this means if you look at this description it says basically this role has access to the secrets in the keyword so i will say next now here now here what we have to do is we have two options we have to say um, to whom we are giving this uh, role that we just selected the two things one is manage entity and one is user group service principle so basically user means if i am a user in the login like in this login i'll be user or there can be a group that was created under which many users are there 
or there is a service principal that is created manually we can assign role to that but in this case we are talking about manage identity so click on this and select member it will ask you from where it is coming so choose the subscription i have four subscription that voice is giving me like this i'm choosing this because under this subscription only the web app is created see now it shows who are available here I can click on it it will list down exactly this one select now it is selected you see this it's selected here let's say next assign review and assign so now that role has been assigned to that uh, web app meaning this web app has access to the key vault just to access the secret if i enter now it gave me the value it was able to read the value right that is what the beautiful thing is right so now did you ever notice any credentials was given no azure resource is talking to another azure resource only through the managed identity so this is what called managed identity and especially called system identity all right now let's jump back to the second demo which is the service principal demo so i have logged into dev.azure.com under my organization name where we have all the repositories ci cd pipelines everything is here okay so let me quickly show you how uh, this managed uh, the service principles are created okay so for example if i go to this uh, repository like you know my project there are many repositories here right so my idea is if i go to ci cd pipeline which is under pipeline okay all what i wanted to do was go to release and i wanted to deploy a particular code for example smart certify app okay so smart certify app is nothing but so we were building this online certification application and for this one there is um you know uh, ui and the web app right so i wanted to deploy that using ci cd pipeline now ci cd pipeline is an external application like you know azure devops is external how azure devops will have access to your uh, azure portal web app how do you deploy it that is where the service principle comes into picture so what we have to do is we have to go to this project settings okay this is how you can actually create a service principle in the in the azure portal also but you know we are dealing with ci cd pipeline so it is easy to create from here so if you go here and go to connection service like the service connection and click on new service connection see these are the existing one but let me just quickly show you how it works okay so once you choose that and choose as your resource manager choose next it is trying to authenticate all right so now the azure portal is authenticated with this devops which means um, you know i can actually choose the subscription level or management group or whatever that level right so under subscription level i'm choosing under this subscription i want this resource group and i'm trying to create um, a service connection so let's give a meaningful name ci cd um, for web app okay for this one right so now just to be precisely uh, understandable what we can do is uh, for azure concept subscription so cover is going to use this right by just uh, you know looking at this they know whichever is under this subscription is used for this like you know for ci cd pipeline so uh, you know that way it is easy so now this is uh, just optional if i say grant access permission to all pipelines so any pipeline that uses this one will have access see that's way the moment you say what will happen is it is creating say setting up connection so it's creating a service principle and the service principle have now access to that particular subscription under that particular subscription there could be any number of resource group but under a particular resource group okay which is what we saw right under this resource group the ci cd pipeline have access if there is a web app created here the ci cd will have access to deploy to this one okay but if i have a different resource group under the same subscription that ci cd pipeline will not have access to deploy to any of those web app that is created okay so what we have done is we have specifically given access to a particular subscription to a particular resource group under that we have given access to 
deploy like you know uh, devops to azure devops to access the web app that is what we have given so that is what called service principle so service principles are the external application um external like automation ci cd pipeline that have access to the uh, one or more uh, resources in the azure that is what the service principle is so now you know the difference between the service principle managed identity and uh, we will do a summary of what we learned so we have come to the conclusion and what we have to understand is when to use the manager identity so if uh, azure resource is talking to an azure resource resource to resource okay then we need manager identity so in slide disclaimer mention when an azure resource needs to securely access another azure resource without any credential then you go for manager identity now when to use a service principle any external applications so when to use a service principle any external applications or automations or the devops pipelines that needs access to the azure resource that we saw in the service principle example right we wanted to deploy a particular code from the uh, ci cd pipeline to the azure web app in this case web app is a azure resource and that way we need service principle so the take the take away here is manage entity is zero maintenance great for azure to azure access and uh, service principle gives more control but requires managing the secrets all right guys i hope you enjoyed this video you have learned a good concept in this video and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and share this with your friends and don't forget to join the telegram group for live discussion and stay tuned and i will see you in the next video guys bye bye thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below happy coding